I, I really appreciate the hustle because like I've been hustling for forever and probably will be forever as well. It feels like it anyway. And like being able to like get an email address off somebody by hook or by crook, if you're like your friend's band or somebody you know has been played, go to them and go, go on, give me that email address. I'll say nothing. Like I shouldn't be saying this, but it's true. Like if you can get the email address, perfect. If you can't, send stuff on social media, send a private message on, on Instagram, send a private message if, if their private message is open on Twitter or Facebook, but just be nice about it and don't oversend, don't send like five tracks every five weeks or something, like, you know, send the track and just imagine what, might put yourself in the other person's shoes, like nobody likes to be hounded, so it's like just be nice with it and go, that I really like it if you could listen to this track and 50-50 it'll probably get listened to. Like, I think, I try to listen to as much stuff as possible, but like, there needs to be another day in the week <laughs> to be able to go through it all. Um, but a lot of people that are good DJs and good curators and good producers who work on those teams as well will listen to it and will try and find time with it. And you, you gotta hustle, that's just it. Like, you gotta hustle. Yeah, absolutely. I think that BBC Introducing has a massive place in... Um, in grassroots music in, in the UK. Like I've, I, I travel around the world to very many um, music conferences and the one thing that they always say at those conferences, like you'll be in Sweden or Norway or even Republic of Ireland or whatever, and somebody will stand up going, excuse me, why don't we have our own BBC introduction? Because they, they, they don't have that same sort of, uh, like, I guess, state-funded uh, public body like the BBC. But the BBC is really good at unearthing new talent, like, you know, the whole way across the board from, like, you know, writers and dramatists and artists and comedians. But, like, you know, with BBC introducing, it's music. And because it's, like, so uniquely poised that there's a BBC everywhere locally around the, B around the, the UK, which means that, like, you know, they've all got a little introducing show and they can play your track. And then that gives you some support. And then once th that track's played... You can go back to your mum or your auntie or your next door neighbour who goes use your shit and just go, no, we're not, we just got played on the BBC, you know? And then from that, it could end up being played on, on Radio 1 and, you know, it, it works for a lot of artists that come through it, but artists like Blossoms and uh, The Big Moon and, I mean, the bigger ones are like Florence and the Machine and Two Door Cinema Club and Jeff Bug and stuff like that. So getting it in there... It, it gives you that confidence that the music that you're making is quite good and it's giving you your first taste of radio play as well. The one piece of advice I would give to any sort of young musician or artist who's not just starting out but like could be in it for a while, it's the same across the board from, I could give this piece of advice to Florence and the Machine or, or somebody who's just, just starting out, is like, failing is alright and everybody does it, everybody fails from the huge artists to the small artists, like whether it's like, oh, you're not writing the songs that you need to be writing, maybe you've like screwed up a piece of artwork, maybe like the track isn't doing as well as you could. It's music, like it, there's no like rate of it every single time it has to go up. You have to get more views or more lists or more playlists or more radio play or whatever. It's totally fine to fail and everybody does it. And I think you need to like sort of embrace that and not beat yourself up too much about it because you can just go back and do it again.